This is Eyewitness News, the news leader. With Diana Williams, Shade Berenois, and Lee Goldberg with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast. Now, Eyewitness News at 5. We are waiting to meet a new multimillionaire. Only one ticket was sold for last night's Mega Millions lottery jackpot. Only one winning ticket, and it was sold in our area at the supermarket on Wilson Avenue in Newark, New Jersey. So who is the winner? That's what we all want to know. Eyewitness News reporter Phil Lupoff has more. Nice machine. <laughs> You'd think so, too, if this machine sold you the winning $126 million Mega Millions ticket. It was sold here at A&J Seabra's grocery store in Newark, a real neighborhood store. Reaction from the locals. Wow, I, it's amazing. The very lucky ticket holder hasn't come forward just yet, but this is what awaits. $4.8 million a year for the next 26 years, or after all taxes are paid, a lump sum of $56.5 million. Which got us thinking, that kind of dough could buy a lot of stuff. So just 13 miles up the road from Seabras is the wildly upscale Short Hills Mall where you could buy 280,000 brand new iPhones or head to Cartier. These are 147,000. So the latest phone, most expensive piece of jewelry is not your thing. How about a beautiful car? This right here, this is a Bentley convertible and it's chump change for you, only $207,000. You can now afford 275 of these. Or how about a bed from the ultra-exclusive Israeli company, Hollandia? The TV rises out of the base. It costs $50,000. Now that's a bed fit for a king, or at least the latest multi-millionaire from New Jersey. Listen, the Lottery Commission wants to hear from you if you're holding this ticket at home. They suggest you talk to an attorney, maybe a financial advisor, then come to them and claim your money. In Essex County, New Jersey, Phil Lipoff, Channel 7, Eyewitness News.